Hey guys, Justin here. Today I'm going to be showing you my method of how to finish a knot without any of the melt spots showing. So I hope you learned something. Here we go. All right, guys, what you're going to need. This is a pineapple knot right here. This method works for all different types of knots, though. So I'm saying there's four strands right there. You need a micro primer lock needle, preferably stainless steel. A lighter, of course. Now, this is a screwdriver that I filed down to a point and then sanded the edges around it so it's nice and smooth. Exacto knife. Not for cutting, but you'll see. Razor blade, of course. Gorilla super glue works really well. All right, but anyways, take the lead strand right there. Put your permalock lock needle on. So I'm taking a drink. <laughs> Alright, so you're going to want to go underneath to where the beginning of the Turk's head knot was when you first started it. Go underneath right there, pull that through, make sure there's no twists. Okay, so what we're going to do now is pull that back a little bit, give it a little room, Pull it back about a quarter inch, is what I'm doing right there. And then take your super glue. Grab the X-Acto. Another screwdriver would work good too for this. Like a jewelry screwdriver. Put some glue on the tip there. Just a dab. Now put it underneath. Just like that. You guys are doing great, by the way. So when you pull it through, Make sure it's pulled tight. I usually like to press it down in that one spot. Make sure both are pulled tight, both strands. Now this is 550 paracord. See so when I cut it, either with the scissors or Razor blade.
Well, I can't decide apparently. Okay, razor blade. Cut it so there's about a sixteenth of an inch of the fluff hanging off. A little bit, a little bit of excess there. I'll take the scissors and trim it up. Now most people would just melt that and press it in, but we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to melt it, but not much. I don't actually press it down when it's hot. Because now it's glued in place, so it's not going to move. So you tuck that underneath just like that. You're going to hide the melt spot. This is the director's cut commentary. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. <laughs> Anyways, I'm getting it tucked in nice the reason I didn't film it with me talking is because the fans are running and it was real loud the TV was on so this is why I'm doing it like this this time let me know if you guys like it in the comments below. Just making sure it's tucked in real nice. So you can't see it no more. But the glue, like I said, it held it in place so it doesn't back off. Now we have three strands left that are hanging out. From underneath the Turk's head knot. Make sure the inner strands are pulled tightly as well. The inner weave. So we're going to do the same thing. Uh, about an eighth of an inch sticking out. Be careful not to cut the uh, the plat on the on the actual handle. That's why I'm picking them up a little bit like that. A lot of waste on this one. <laughs> My big head in the way. Okay, so they're cut. They're just barely sticking out right there. Take the lighter, you're just going to melt them a little bit. Try not to over melt them because you can melt your handle or the other strands on the knot. Which is not what we want to do. And that one still needs another Yep. A little touch up there. And they're melted, but they're not pressed into the whip, so it should work out well. Take the screwdriver, just tuck them underneath.
depending on what kind of foundation you have. Mine are mostly vegetable tan cowhide, so it seems to tuck underneath pretty well. See now they're now they're hidden, but what we're gonna do now is grab some more glue. We're gonna make sure those strands don't come out. Make sure it's all secured. And just tuck it underneath the back like that. Try not to get that glue on the outside strands because that will show. Which we don't want to do that. Do we? Okay. What I'm doing now is pressing that in there. Pressing the strands into the glue. Holding those melted strands down. Nice and secure. Making sure that top one's still good. Just pressing everything kind of flat on the bottom of it. Now this is a whip that uh, you guys can't see it. I might show it at the end here, I don't know. It's an experimental whip. First one I tried it on. I would call it belly transition. I think I showed it here at the end. What I'm doing right now is uh, rolling the knot a little bit. Making sure those strands are nice and flat. And there we go. Our finished product. Right there. That's where I did my belly transition right there. I'll explain that in the video coming up. It's a cool new idea. New way to make a whip anyways. But there we go. We're all done. Looks good. Ta-da, ta-da, ta-da. Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully this helps out a little bit. Give you a better idea. We'll see you next time.